Hello everyone, myself Raj Gopal from ID department, 2nd BTEC, Sessi Institute of Technology and Engineering. Today I will discuss about the topic Bellman Ford Algorithm in Design and Analysis of Algorithm. Firstly, we will discuss about the Bellman, Board, Bellman Ford Algorithm introduction. Bellman Ford Algorithm is a single source shortest path algorithm this algorithm is used to find the shortest to distance bit shortest to distance from the single vertex to all the other vertices of a weighted graph there are various other algorithms used to find the shortest path like uh, distributive algorithm etc and if the weighted graph contains the negative weighted values then the distributive algorithm does not confirm whether it produces the correct answer or not in contrast to distributive algorithm bellman ford algorithm guarantees the correct answer even if the weighted graph contains the negative weighted values also so here the Bellman Ford algorithm having one rule for this algorithm that is we will go on relaxing all the edges only n minus 1 times only where n equal to number of vertices. Here we are relaxing means how we will update the distance between the u and v and we have one formula if distance of u plus cost of u comma v less than distance of v then distance of v equal to distance of u plus cost of u comma v this is the formula for finding the shortest path between the all vertices by using bellman ford algorithm so then consider the one weighted graph and the graph is having the negative weighted also so bellman ford algorithm is a single source shortest path so we will consider as A as source and the distance between source to source A is 0. So then we will write all the edges is here. So from checking the all edges we will update at the distance between the all vertices. So first we will check the A to B. The distance between A to B is 4 and the, word and the A is having A. So 0 plus 4 is equal to 4 so then we know that all the vertices is having the weight is infinity initially there is infinity after checking this we will update the all vertices so first first we will check the a to b so 0 plus 4 is equal to 4 4 is less than infinity so here update it here so this is 4 and then the, di the direction between a to c so a to c is the distance is having 2 we will we will see here that a, a to c is having 2 so the a is having 0 so 0 plus 2 is 2 so 2 is less than infinity so here also updated 2 so then we will check the b so b is having the direction between b to c and b to d and b to e also so first we will check the b to c so the distance between b to c is 3 so b is having 4 so 4 plus 3 is 7 so c is having 2 so 7 is 7 is greater than 2 so we don't need to update here so next check the b to d the distance between b to d is 2 the b is having uh, already 4 so 4 plus 2 is 6 6 is less than infinity so here we will update infinity 4 plus 2 is 6 so next check the b to e the distance between b to e is 4 b is having 4 so 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 so 8 is less than infinity so here also we will update it is cancelled and 
here update it to 8 and then we will check the D so D is having no direction so then we will move to E so E is having the direction to D so the distance is minus 5 here the negative values here so E is having 8 so 8 minus 5 is 3 so 3 is less than 6 so we will update here 3 is less than 6 so it is 3 so here we will check the all vertices and this is the first iteration and we will check the another iteration also and means second iteration so we can see that this is the after the first iteration updated graph is below so this is the completed after the completion of first iteration the distance between the all vertices so we will check the now we will check the second iteration the distance between a to b is 4 so 0 plus 4 is 4 there is no updation and from a to c is the distance is 2 0 plus 2 is 2 here also there is no updation and then we will check the b to c b is having three directions b to c b to d and b to e so first we will check the b to c the distance between b to c is 3 and the b is having 4 so 4 plus 3 is 7 7 is greater than 2 so there is no optation and then we will check the b to d the distance between b to d is 2 the b is having 4 so 4 plus 2 is 6 6 is here and then we will check the b to e b is having 4 and the distance between b to e also 4 so 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 this is 8 and then we will check the c c is having two directions b to c to b and c to d and also c to e so first we will check c to b c is having two the distance between c to b is one so 2 plus 1 is 3 so 3 is less than 4 so here 4 will be cancelled and the 3 is updated and then c to d we will check so c is having 2 and the distance between c to d is 3 so 2 plus 3 is 5 so 5 is less than 6 so it, here the updation is needed so 6 will be cancelled here so then 6 and here 5 5 is there and then c to e c is having 2 and the distance between c to e is 5 so 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 so 7 is less than 8 so here updation is needed so 8 will be cancelled and 7 will be there and then we will check the direction between D so there is no directions between D to so we will forward it to E so E to D we have so the weight is having minus 5 so E is, e is having 7 so 7 minus 5 7 minus 5 is 2 so here we have 5 so 2 is less than 5 so here the updation is needed so the 5 will be cancelled here 2 is updated here so this is the second iteration and we will check the another iterations also so this is the third iteration so here by checking all the vertices there is no change in the distance as like in the second iteration so there is here there is same distances by checking these edges so as like as the first and second iteration we will check the all vertices in the third and fourth iteration also so there is no change in the distance in the third iteration so there is no change and no updation in the third iteration 
so we will consider as the fourth it fourth iteration as also having the same distances we will get so with so that we conclude that this is the shortest to distance and then finally this is all about the bellman ford algorithm is how to use to find out the shortest to distance between the all vertices from the graph thank you